I like this too, bro. I think gold nails are my new thing. Dude, that's exciting for you. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> so what do we got here, Mr. Sean? All right, this is one of the Chicago's greats when it comes to breweries. This is Revolution Brewing Sun Crusher Summer Ale. A juicy and refreshing beer with radiant citrus notes. 5.3% by volume. Drink responsibly. I think this is the only can of beer that I've seen from Revolution that doesn't have like a superhero like figure on it. Yeah, no kidding. You're but I no dig kidding. it though. But something of course is still happening very aggressively. Also do you see that they're throwing shade at Lagunitas with uh, proudly brewed only in Chicago? Oh, I love it. I like a little bit of a jab going on there. As you know, Lagunitas originated in Petaluma, California, now is a huge hub in Chicago. Rev, only here. Only here. Background done. If you don't give literally any crap about liquid, let's focus on solids. Corey, what are we eating with our mouths today? Today we got Signature Select Spicy Barbecue Recipe Chicken with Jalapeno Peppers Pizza. Yeah, it's a spicy barbecue. And this is one of the only- one. Why throw the word recipe? Spicy barbecue, what's recipe chicken? Yeah, I don't know, that's a little off-putting to me personally. Spicy barbecue recipe? I just think the word recipe could be left out. Isn't we, everything a recipe? We know that there had to be, be some for, form of a recipe for every food to be made. If, so we get if more than one ingredient in, is involved, it's a recipe, right? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich is technically everyone- like, You, you have, have a recipe, recipe for how, it. What, for, you know, certain knives you use, how much of each, how close to the end of the bread do you go? That's a recipe. Yeah. I don't know if those are things that are usually found in recipes. <laughs> <laughs> also, I will say this, one of the only, maybe the only, frozen pizza to ever have like a heat level on the box. Yes, Medium first time I've ever seen. I saw that in the grocery store and I went, Corey! And he was like, all right, it's not that exciting. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it went. But this is a thick boy, three C's. All right, frozen pizza number like 380. They keep coming out with new ones, so we're still employed by ourselves. All right, spicy barbecue recipe chicken with jalapeno peppers, cheers. Cheers. Okay. Where do you fall on the conversation of just barbecue sauce based pizzas? Do you like them? Yeah, I like barbecue sauce and chicken. Yeah, me too. It's got good flavor that the barbecue sauce does. It makes too much dough. Mm-hmm. It's so bready. It's just, there's just so much dough. Like, the flavor of everything is good. But that's about 20% of the pizza. That number's probably off, but it's not as much as I want it to be. Man, every bite of this, it just feels like I'm eating like, it does feel like 80% bread. And yeah. the chicken bites are too small. Tiny chicken. Tiny chicken, I'm not really like getting much of the chicken flavor in here, mm. which is great to balance with the barbecue sauce. Right. This is the type of pizza where if a company, Signature Select is also a store brand. I think if like Streamin' Sicilian did this type of a pizza their way, it would probably be unbelievable. Like a barbecue jalapeno chicken. Mm -hmm. I bet they'd knock that out of the park. Yeah, I'm a one and done on this. One slice is all I need. Like, I'm not I'm not loving it. I'm gonna have one more with uh, Sixer sauce on it. I'm gonna have the rest of my bread, which is just a breadstick at the end of this, basically, with some Sixer sauce. I feel like DiGiorno is gonna throw away a bunch of crusts. <laughs> and Signature Select was like, we can maybe salvage that. I was thinking of a way to properly describe this pizza to them, and mm -hmm. that's it. Wow, if you want to make that medium hot, you put that on it. That, that picks it up. That made it, that made it medium hot. Wow. Um, wow, that's a better pizza with that. But also, it's just still too much bread. So much bread. Good idea, good picture, good color on the pizza, bad execution of everything else. Other than the barbecue sauce, I thought was decent. I'm so underwhelmed by this, like, design of this box, too. Like, yeah, this is what you came up with. This just looks like a mess. Like if you made a thumbnail that looked like that, I'd be like, bro, go back to the drawing board and do better. Like in Slack, you'd be like, is everything okay? Mm -hmm. What happened here? Like why are our thumbnails better than this? Right. And our thumbnails take us each, what, 90 seconds yeah. today? Yeah. Get out of here. But also Signature Select, if you're trying to outsource some of your creative to us, we're free. I don't mean to speak for both of us, but. Yeah, because I was just thinking in my head when you were saying that, I'm like, <laughs> the last thing I want to do is design. I got my own projects to work on. I don't want to design. <laughs> Logos for effing signature select, bro. <laughs> they better be pay me a huge salary for that. Which I'd imagine when you're a store brand, you don't have a huge budget. All right, uh, before we go ahead and rate this, want to do a shout out? Let's do it. Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Patreon. It's a great place to help support uh, creators. All you got to do is go onto our Patreon, check out the different tiers that we have, figure out one matches up 
with your budget and with the different tier that you would like. We give things back to you guys for every different tier yeah. and sign up for it. And everybody who signs up gets a shout out. Here's a couple of those uh, signed up, a couple people who signed up recently. Patreon shout out name number one, Mr. James Patton. Over there in Europe, uh, they don't have the US dollar, if you can believe it, they have the Euro. And he donates nine Euro a month. Made his own tier, just kind of how it works with the conversion. No, 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 He's, it's, it's not his own tier. But don't technically, what does it come out to US dollars? I don't know, bro, I don't know the <laughs> current conversion rate. But it's not its own tier, it's he signed up for a tier and it charged him nine Euro. Yeah, that makes more sense actually. Sorry, the hot pickles are still getting to me from two weeks ago. James, thank you so much for donating. Uh, your hard earned money. I mean, people that work and you donate to a YouTube channel that's trying to like just make you know content for you guys every single day, it means the world. So, Mr. James P, thank you. And Patreon shout out number two goes Mr. Kyle McLean. <laughs> Kyle, a huge supporter of the channel. We always appreciate when he helps us out. This is a big one. He signed up for the $35 tier, which is absolutely amazing. Wow. And with that, you get to pick a spot for us to eat at. I think we've already filmed that. We do. Um, Definitely. I can't have. remember exactly what it was, but I'm sure it was amazing. Kyle's a G, so he only picks great stuff. Yeah, that's true. So we appreciate you, Kyle. All right, um, Patreon support, amazing. This pizza, we'll find out. Uh, man, where am I gonna fall on this? Okay, I've got my answer. Eric McCluskey, our resident drummer. Drum roll, please. Thank you, sir. Thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you liked, you enjoyed. You think the people that watch this show should buy the signature select Spicy barbecue recipe chicken with jalapeno peppers pizza. <laughs> Worst name ever. Right. Ho! Oh! Another close one. I mean, it's not like so horrible. Like some of the right. pizza I have, I'm like, bro, trust me. Do not get this. Some people might enjoy this. It's just a little too bready for me. So I think that there's so much better things out there that I probably wouldn't. Yeah, I can't tell you the last time I had a frozen pizza sober. So like this would probably, you know, two in the morning and I get home from the bar or something, like this would probably hit the spot. Mm -hmm. But is that how I should be rating it? <laughs> right now I still think a no. I think if you're at the store and you're trying to snag a frozen circle for the weekend, I'd say skip this one. Um, guys, let us know if there's any other frozen pizzas that we should keep our eyes out for, and we will do so. Don't forget to like this video, and before we get out of here, uh, at the very end of this video, we're going to open up a package from a Ooh. dear, dear fan of the show, so stick around. Sure! I'll have a drink. Go. Click and ship. Wow. Are oh, you not gonna do your thing where you say fans and brands? Guys, on this section of the show, this is when fans and brands send us packages. In this sense, it's a fan. But Matthew Manitowski is such a fan that he's almost his own brand. Damn, you got it easy open. Sean and Corey, here are some Texas hot sauce that won't melt your face off. They also have very unique packaging. Keep putting out the great content. Signed with a pen, Matthew Manitowski. Pen That's be so cute. bright, That's you'll never know what that says. Oh wow, it's in a bag. Whoa. This is wild. Cool. And this looks, this is a cool color green, I dig this. Dude, this is gonna really uh, spice up the, uh, no pun intended, the Monday, uh, Monday drunk videos. Normally, the, they all come in bottles. So I'm very curious. They say salsa on them. Oh no, they're hot sauce. Okay, okay. The brand must just be called salsa. Oh, that one looks good. Red jalapeno. Right, or is this salsa and the brand is El Gallo Premium Hot Sauce? Why do they say salsa on them? These yeah. don't look like salsa. Let's try to read further. Yeah, it's salsa. Look at the hour story at the very bottom on the back. Okay. We've been proudly making our award-winning Mexican salsa since 2011. So do we eat these with tortilla chips? That'd be a fun way to do a Monday video. Just get a bag yeah. of Tostitos or something. You know? Yeah, definitely could. No, no chicken wings needed. All right, well in a future Monday episode, Mr. Matthew Metatowski, thank you so much. If you guys want to send us stuff, the address is linked below in every single video. So anytime you watch and you're like, wait, what was their address? It's linked below every single YouTube video. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Wait, we're off tomorrow? I'll see you Monday. <laughs> Bye.